Uh, so welcome everyone. Um, my talk uh, is about um, dynamic reports. Uh, so normally in audio you would uh, write a report in uh, QWeb. Um, this kind of report can make by uh, can be made by consultants also, so they can click together a report from different HTML blocks. Um, so I'll tell you, tell you a little bit about uh, how uh, this module came to be and uh, what it can do and show you a little demo about it. And then you can give suggestions on how to make it even better. And review it on GitHub um, to get it merged into Oka. And so, yeah, originally um, our client uh, is um, uh, a company who um, is doing a lot of hiring people and firing people as well. Um, it's just temporary contracts, so um, they put people for one year here and another year there, and they do 1,000 or maybe even 10,000 of contracts each, uh, each year. Um, so their requirement was to uh, quickly be able to generate uh, contracts with uh, different, uh, different components. So you can imagine there's, um, they work in the whole European Union. So if you want to make a French contract uh, and a German contract and Italian contract, those are very different contracts. And um, also have very different legal requirements. So some blocks you want to, to put in, other blocks you want to leave out. Um, yeah, and they also have different um, different type of jobs. Maybe some person will be a builder, another person will be something else. So some some other security uh, things need to be in the contract. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, what they used before, um, they have an Odoo module uh, built by their own developers. Um, in which they have uh, one big QWeb report um, consisting of different, uh, different blocks. They divided it into blocks, but for every block they have a huge if statement. Um, because, yeah, you can imagine, uh, okay, if the company is this, um, then it's, it's a French company, so we need to include this block. Um, if the job is that, but the company is that, so it's, it's, it was very messy to maintain, and uh, all the time the consultants uh, of the company had to um, to ask the programmers to change it. Um, and they said, yeah, before we had Odoo, we had a, a wonderful software in which you could, uh, um, in which we could change it, um, but now we have Odoo and we cannot, so. Yeah, of course, we took it as a challenge, and then we made a new module for them. Um, so what was wrong with the QWeb solution? Um, so they could not uh, easily apply um, a layout. So maybe uh, they want to add an image, or they want to put uh, some text in bold. Well, they cannot, because it's just XML content. Um, and also, they are not good to edit the if conditions um, because, yeah, it's difficult to uh, to format them. So they want to easily to, um, uh, edit the conditions to show each block and um, easily to apply formatting, um, easy to um, yeah to also add numbering of blocks. So if you remove one block, you, then you, you shouldn't need to, to edit all the numbers again, say, oh, I removed this block, so all the other blocks need to change a little bit. Um, so yeah, we built a solution using um, uh, the HTML and Jinja template blocks. It's uh, the same uh, that you find in, um, in email templates in Odoo. Um, and we use the, the Odoo domain editor in order to be able to, to set the conditions for each block. Then we also made an alias um, function. So uh, we put some demo aliases, but you could put any 
alias, like a macro in the report, and it would expand to a complex expression, which allow us to do uh, things like uh, the automatic numbering, like H1 is a macro, it will expand to 1.1 1 .1, uh, or 1.2, depending on where you are in the report. So, this um, for me easy to talk about, but uh, maybe for you hard to understand if you cannot see it, so I will show you how it works. Um. Yeah, so basically, um, if we talk about contracts, um, the report will be on employee. So if I want to create a contract for this uh, person, um, I go to dynamic reporting, I select the template that I want. Um, then I generate the report. Then it has, uh, it has added three blocks. Um, this is for, um, yeah, one, um, one block, this is another block, uh, this is another block. So what does these blocks uh, contain? It is um, the three sections. So every section has a domain condition. Um, and of course you can, now that the report is generated, you can also edit it um, by yourself. You say, okay, for this person, maybe I want to change it a little bit, so, okay, maybe this person will not stay in the company forever, but uh, until uh, we get uh, <laughs> tired of it, or something. <laughs> but it has to be very small letters, so yeah, it, uh, we make it eight. <laughs> So this is something you can do, but it is only for Anita. But if you go to the, the template, it will still be uh, the same for like it was before. So this is my simple template for the, for the permanent contract. Um, and this one had the, the three sections. Member of the company forever. get a good pension. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you really want to do this uh, good, you need to, of course, add the conditions. So yeah, now the both pension blocks will be shown, but um, if you want to ad edit the condition, you can say, um, for example, this should only be for, for people who have um, a certain a certain job title, for example, or a position. Contains <coughs> permanent, permanent or something. Okay, so this doesn't exist, but yeah, you can imagine um, how this can work. Mm. You can do all kinds of things. You can also say, okay, it should be dependent on gender or on um, and other things. You can also make the report not on employee, but on the contract itself, on the contract model. So yeah, then uh, yeah, if you if it is really complicated and you cannot do it uh, like this with a domain, you can also um, construct a Python condition. Um, so you can say, for example, 
You can put here some Python, and you can say, for example, object dot uh, name is uh, something, and it will evaluate that. Ah, you can uh, you can imagine. Then we added uh, also the um, uh, helper thing. So if people don't know how to put uh, some expressions in the in the content, um, then we can generate it for them. Um, so this, you can put it in the context. or maybe the display name. Okay, let me check the domain. Oh yeah, because of this uh, domain. And the other domain as well, right? The um yeah, we currently made them. I think that both uh, are ended together. But yeah, of course, you can maybe put a button to or them. Um, but it's not there yet. Um, yeah, so. Then another functionality is that if you have generated a, con um, a contract, um, and you really like it and you want to use it as a template, um, you can click the button and it will create a, a new template from that. Um, then you can say, okay, maybe this is better than the before one and then you can archive this one and use, uh, use it as a standard from now on. Okay, the last thing, um, I want to show is the aliases. So we made some um, some aliases. Like yeah, this expression is very difficult for the consultant to uh, to remember. So um, this is um, this is more easy. So if I put that in the report, um, well, let me use this one for example. Added the block. So this is the first block. And I put um, H1 in front. And I also do that for the other one. Small.
So it has then the numbering, uh, puts the, the level one numbering, one and two. And then if I change the, the order of the blocks, <coughs> it will do the numbering in, a, in another way. So this one will be first and that one will be second. And you can do the same for any level. So you can put uh, H2, which will be 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, depending on where you are in the, in the report. Uh, then you can also choose a wrapper report. So now I have chosen external layouts, but um, you can have, for example, your company layout or any layout that is in the system. And then the report will look a little bit differently. Ah. Ah, this is beautiful. You can show this to your customer. He will be very happy. You can charge him hours to fix it. <laughs> no, yeah, OK. But this is um, a little bit how it works. Um, yeah, so, so to finish the, the talk, um, like we made this very generic, so we looked at the other OCA module agreement legal, uh, who can also generate contracts, but we thought it uh, was a little bit uh, not so flexible because you only could generate uh, contracts and only from the agreement contract model. Um, and we were thinking, yeah, you want to generate it maybe from employee or maybe from contract, you want to be flexible. And also you want to be able to add custom blocks that are not sections. So yeah, we made a new module. And you can use this for anything. Um, so we have a customer who wants to, to generate very complex quotations. So you could also use it for that. We, that's something we may be doing this year. And yeah, the imagination can run wild. I mean, you can generate reports. Yeah, so of course, what is missing from this module still um, yeah, we like to use Markdown, um, but it's not possible, so maybe we can add that as a possibility. Um, it would also be nice to be able to insert another report, like if you have maybe a timesheet report that you want to, sh to, to insert somewhere on a page, uh, it should be possible. Uh, there's a one-to-many uh, thing, so you, maybe you want to do some, some kind of looping. Um, I think maybe with some some magic with Jinja, now it is possible, but it's not very user friendly, so uh, it's better to spend some time on that. Uh, maybe make a hierarchy of blocks. Um, yeah, and I think you can make a table now, but um, I didn't really test it, so I think there's probably something that needs, needs work there. Okay, so. That's it. And so we have time, I think, <laughs> for questions. Any questions about this module? Inspirations, motivation, support. Yeah, on the back there. Yeah, our priority now is to get it merged, but there is already someone who wants to port it to 14 already for months, so we hope to get it merged soon so that he can start. Okay. Is there support for multiple paper formats? Is there support for multiple paper formats? Uh, yes. I, I don't know multiple, but you can choose uh, which, uh, which layout you want to use as a as a basic, uh, and to that you can uh, connect the Odoo paper format. So yes, I think. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>